uh, racial equality uh, and harmony dito sa Hong Kong, mag-promote ng exclusion at hindi ng discrimination, mag-promote ng pagrespeto sa kababaihan at sa mga migrante. Gusto nating makita yan na ginagawa ng gobyerno ng Hong Kong. Hong Kong is not a racist city. Not at all. What Regina Yip has said or written is not representative of this society. Hong Kong people are basically socially, racially inclusive. No racism! No racism! No racism in Hong Kong! I think uh, our, uh, our uh, Filipino women uh, here, our Filipino uh, compatriots will very much appreciate to hear a short message from you. Yes, I'm so sorry, I'm not quite awake yet, actually. Uh, but um, we stand here. Um, I actually wrote here, oh, be salubrious, not salacious. Because the whole pretense for Miss Regina, Miss Regina Ip for bring, uh, bring, bringing up this concern of hers um, is the recent um, suicide um, of a 15 year old. And uh, we think that if she really wanted to search for the cause of that suicide, that she should look at how stressful being undocumented is and maybe help out her sister instead of, of prosecuting the parents and separating. And she says that, oh, um, that Filipinas are tearing families apart. Well, she's tearing this family apart. We can see that. And so, um, and just stop trying to turn it into just like a story about sex, you know? It's not about that at all. She's trying to um, turn this into something that it's, it's not. So that's why we're coming, we come here today to um, stand in solidarity with with all of you. Yes. I'm from Socialist Action to give solidarity message to you all. Because I personally do not think we should accept the apology of Virginia Ip. Because her apology is really hypocritical. She, in the last past 10 years and 30 years, she has been a top official of the government. And she is the one who defend the live in rule and she is the one who really attack hardly on all migrant workers' rights. But not just migrant workers, but all workers, not only migrant workers, but also Hong Kong local workers. And we cannot let this happen. We have to build up the anti-racist campaign to defend the migrant workers' rights, to defend all the rights for the, all the working class, including the rights for minimum wage, the rights to have standard working hours. And also the last point uh, uh, about uh, we need, uh, very important is we need unite struggle uh, for all the working class. Uh, so I give this solidarity message to you all. Thank you. In behalf of Bishop uh, Joseph Mungala, uh, Chungalao, uh, she has a representative here, but uh, uh, she will read the message that she sent to us today. The article was so prejudiced against the Filipinos. Even many Chinese may equally guilty of wrongdoings, and so with all other nationalities. Chinese are not exception. So of course, we say no to racism. In behalf of uh, Jesus the Living God, International Ministry Hong Kong, being the Vice President of the Global Ministers Association, we condemn also what uh, Legislature Regina Ip done. It damaged already the morale of the Filipino domestic helper in Hong Kong. So we are asking a sincere, sincere apology to a woman aspiring to be the chief executive to say sorry without explanations no more. In Hong Kong and around the world, that Filipina OFW here in Hong Kong is not a home wrecker, but instead they are home builder because they are building. No to racism and respect women. Alam niyo kung hindi sa kanila ho, hindi yung natin magukoy apology ni Regina Ipet. Alam mo kung wala tayong pagkakaisa sa itong pinapaabot natin sa kanila. Congratulations sa mga organizers at uh, sana uh, ito, uh, uh, marinig ng mga uh, tagog, especially mga tagugubihab ng katulad ni Regina Ipang ating mga daing. Salamat.
Maraming salamat po sa pag-ipitahon ninyo sa amin at uh, uh, congratulations po sa atin lahat at sana ito ay ito pala ko ang umpisa, hindi po ito ang lahat. So maraming salamat Eman and Ma'am Daisy at sa atin lahat. No to racism! No to racism! No to racism! No to racism! Good morning sa lahat ng nandito. Um, nandito tayong lahat dahil sa iisang bagay. Ang itayo ang pignidad, alisin ang diskriminasyon, irespeto ang ating walang hindi kaya sa pagkakaisa. Lahat ng bagay ay nakukuha sa magandang pagkakaisa. Solidarity lang po. Maraming salamat po. We are a part of a concern group that is concerned with the ethnic minorities here in Hong Kong. And um, we also, uh, as a Filipina girl that came here 20 years ago, um, you know, you try to find um, some sort of mentorship. And, you know, you hear a lot of things, oh, Filipino people do this, Filipino do that, Filipinos do that. And, but I tell, I tell myself, I stand up and I tell myself, I'm a Filipina woman. And there's more than meets the eye, and we are all women here in Hong Kong, and you're all working. Um, there's just one thing that I want to tell Regina Eve as well, and those women that try to talk to her about it. If you want your family to be together, that is up to you and your husband. Okay, not anyone else. It's up to you to heal your family. It's up to you to heal your um, community, uh, uh, your relationship with your um, with your husband. So, mabuhay ang Filipino and no to racism. Thank you very much. Kami po sa Mahangtalaga Association Hong Kong. Uh, hindi din po namin binugugo. Hindi po natin gusto ng lahat tayo ay sabihan na ganyan di po ba? So, namabasa ko ang ano ni Mrs. Kip. Wow, ang dami. Bakit? Binigyan pa niya, sabi niya, sa Discovery Bay. Lahat naman siguro na tayo nabasa natin yun, di ba? So, hindi po tayo pumunta dito para isidyos daw ang mga asawa ng mga amo natin. Ang Iwat Kabayan Bendat Society po. Kami po ay nakikisa po sa pangipaglaban po sa sa Nori Season. So, maraming po salamat. So, ipaglaban po natin sa amin. We agree all that there is no racism in Hong Kong. Agree? Yes! Maraming salamat po. Malapit na tayo mag-march. I will take the blow. Maraming salamat and good morning. Our Indonesian friend, we behind of the Indonesian Migrant World Network. I'm so sorry because we don't, uh, we cannot spend many uh, people here because we also have gathering. We has a rally to Indonesian consulate about safe to Mary Jane today. So, yeah, we really, really upset. I cannot say anything. We also upset about Regina said was in the newspaper is anti-migrant and anti-woman. But I hear also in news, but uh, I don't, I don't know if the truth in heart is she apologize. Is it? Hopefully, it's real and truth in heart. But I don't know. We don't know yet. But we here to call to anyone, please respect woman and respect migrant right. We are worker. We are not slave. Uh, the youth, they are the uh, future of this this generation, and we are very happy to have some uh, young people, local Chinese, here with us. To give this message from Action Q, uh, please give them a round of applause. Uh, hello, we are Action Q. We are a group of um, uh, uh, a university students LGBT group, and we are here because we are. First of all, because we stand solid in solidarity with everyone here. And because we are against sexism, racism, and discrimination. And we want to show respect to our domestic workers for so far away from hometown to Hong Kong and work for our um, younger generations. So we want to show our highly respect to you all. Stop racism! Stop discrimination! Stop discrimination! Okay, mga kababayan, so unang-una, maraming maraming salamat.
Meron na po tayo naging inisyal na tagumpay sa ating paglaban para sa napakanan, karapatan ng kababaihan at migrante yung magagawa dito sa Hong Kong. Pero tutuloy-tuloy po natin yan, sabi nga kanina, kahit na nag-sorry na, si Bidi Rahib, hindi na lang ito usapin sa kanya. Ito ay usapin na natin at panawagan sa gobyerno ng Hong Kong para gumawa ng mga konkretong hakbang para hindi na po maganap ang mga pag-atake sa karapatan babaihan ng mga migrating manggagawa at ng sambayan ng Pilipino sa kabuhan. So, sunan po tayo, sama-sama tayo hanggang makamit po natin ang isang lipunan na walang diskriminasyon. Magandang umaga po at maraming salamat. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank on behalf of the Filipino community, Legislator Claude Jemo, for initiating the action. Let's all think we should be doing something about this. Um, and because of precisely because of that, we were pursuing our own case, especially since the EOC has told her she is not a party in interest in this case. We are the party in interest, the Philippine community, and especially the migrant women who were really fighting this one. I prepared a short statement. We are here today, not the parish of her. Ms. Regina Ip, in the same way that she has targeted our migrant women for discrimination, we are here because we want to correct a wrong that was done to the most vulnerable sector in our society and to declare that we will not tolerate any kind of racism and sexism. We are here because we are Filipinos who take pride in our country and its people, especially our migrant workers who bravely left their families behind to ensure they have a better life. Instead of being vilified, our migrant women should be praised and put on a pedestal. Without them, Hong Kong would not be the economic success that it is now. Without them, many young people would not have acquired the kind of values needed to ensure a more tolerant and inclusive Hong Kong society. Regina Hip was wrong in saying our workers are home wreckers because it was precisely because they wanted to keep their families together that they were forced to come here to Hong Kong to work. Neither are they mercenary would-be mistresses because this presupposes a person who does not value hard and honest work which we all agree our migrant women are not. There could be no greater crime that could be committed against us Filipinos abroad than to attack one of our most precious resources, our migrant workers. It is for this reason that we are gathered here. We should speak up for our migrant women, not just because many of them are able to do this themselves, but because we are proud of them and know that if they are put to shame, there is no other recourse for us to fight back and speak up. Again, Regina Ip was wrong because she might have thought that there be no backlash to her slander as many of her targets are too shy and too scared to show up right. Well, this huge gathering shows how terribly, terribly wrong she was. Little did she know that when she shamed our workers, she dragged us all into the fray. Being a Filipino demands no less. So together we shall, no more racism. No more discrimination. No more targeting Filipinos. Thank you. Of what Regina Yip said make us very, very angry. So this violates our basic principles of equality. We should respect each other, no matter where we come from. So together we shout, no more racism! No more discrimination! No more targeting Filipinos!